What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a good day. So today I'm going to be carrying on with the kind of fat loss, low calorie, uh, high protein ideas. Today we're going to be focusing on desserts and sweet treats. Now I've been thinking about these recipes a lot over the past week. I've got some awesome recipes lined up. I'm really excited to share them with you. I think you're going to absolutely love them. I'm going to try and keep this short and snappy as always. Um, so yeah, let's just crack on with it. First up, we've got a high protein parfait, which sounds very posh. Parfait, darling, Ooh, very nice. But basically, it's just yogurt mixed with some fruits and granola. I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it to make it absolutely delicious. So, first up, we've just got Greek yogurt. There's about 500 grams of the Greek yogurt. I use the 5% fat total faye, which you've probably seen in my videos before. Yeah, I'm really, really into Greek yogurt at the moment. And then add a scoop of vanilla whey. So I'm just using my protein vanilla impact whey. Um, as always, I've got my commission link in the description box below if you wanna get yourself a nice little discount. So then we're just gonna mix that up. Okay, so that's all mixed up. You wanna try get rid of any kind of lumps that the protein makes. Actually makes it really nice and creamy. It's gonna give like a nice vanilla kind of taste. And then get another bowl. I've got 150 grams of blueberries and 150 grams of raspberries. Got a little masher. And then we're just gonna mash them up until they kind of go all nice and juicy. It's going to end up looking something like this. Don't worry if there's some lumps in it still. It doesn't really matter. It's just gonna add to the texture. So that's looking all good. And now that's pretty much it. We're ready to just construct our parfaits. So you're gonna start with a layer of your fruit at the bottom like that, maybe a couple of tablespoons. And then we go in with our yogurts. Try and get it in there without actually touching the sides. Three or four tablespoons in there. So now for the next layer, um, the granola goes in. Now I've just bought store-bought granola. Uh, be a little bit careful because it can be quite high in calories and high in sugar. Um, also, you could just make your own granola. I've made my own granola. It's pretty simple. You just mix oats with some nuts, raisins, a bit of coconut oil, um, some sugar or some maple syrup, and you basically put it in the oven and bake it for like 10 minutes or something. Um, but I've got store-bought granola today, so that's what I'm going to use. And there you go. That's just going to give it a lovely crunch. Then we're gonna just top it off with a tiny bit more yogurt. And then just right for the top, just a little bit of granola to make it look nice and pretty. And then even some of the fruit that we've already used. Ooh. And so there you go, that right there is your high protein parfait. That's all three of them made up. So these cups are actually pretty big. You can kind of see it in comparison to my hand as a reference. And I think there's about 300 calories in each one. They're really high in protein and they're just really big in kind of volume. Like there's a lot of dessert in that cup. So it seems like a winning recipe to me. Up next we're going to be making some blondie cups. So that's a blondie in a cupcake. Need I say more? So you just need to get out a nice big mixing bowl. We're going to be adding 60 grams of almond flour, which is basically blended almonds. I did actually buy this from the store. It comes out a bit better than what I get in my blender. And then I've got oat flour. I think there's about 40 grams of oat flour in there. Smooth peanut butter. Is that gonna go in there? <laughs> Smooth peanut butter in there, about 150 grams, I believe. And now maple syrup or honey. I've actually used a mixture of both um, because I ran out of maple syrup. So I think there's about 80 milliliters. I'm just gonna scrape the bottoms out. Blue bell, blue heat. I always do this and forget to tell you to preheat your oven to 180 degrees. And a tiny splash of milk, any milk will do. I'm using oat milk here. Right, we're gonna mix it up. You might need to put a little bit more milk in if the mixture is too dry, but we're just gonna mix it up, see how it comes out for now. So I've got eight muffin cases in the muffin tray. Lovely pink muffin cases. So now we just need to transfer that mixture into the muffin cases. Okay, so they're all in the muffin cases, just need to kind of try to flatten it down, push it into the sides of the muffin cases. It's a little bit sticky, but you'll get there just with the back of a spoon like this. Now I've just got some chocolate chips. Don't go too crazy with them. Maybe three or four per cup. And there you go, ready to go in the oven for 20 
minutes. So the Blondie cups have been in for 20 minutes. They are looking and smelling amazing. So they've kind of browned off on the top as you can see, but they're still lovely and squidgy, kind of fudgy center to them. And so here are the Blondie cups all plated up. So there's nice and kind of crispy on the outside, but it's really kind of soft and fudgy on the inside there. I've taken a bite of that one, absolutely delicious. Next up, we're going to be making some high protein chia puddings. Now these are super easy to make. They'll store in the fridge all week. You can make them in bulk and they just come out really delicious. So I'm gonna show you how to make them right now. So first up, you need to get um, some cups or glasses or a jar, mason jar, anything like that. I've got my, my protein organic chia super seeds. Again, my commission link is in the description box below. So per pudding, we need four tablespoons. Next up, we add our protein. Now this is probably the most challenging part of this recipe, getting that protein in the cup. Oose. There you go. Um, and for the other one, you're gonna be using a chocolate orange flavor. Um, so basically you can add any flavor protein you want. Anything's gonna work. Just pick whichever is your kind of favorite flavor of the month. So I'm gonna have a vanilla one and I'm gonna have a chocolate orange chia pudding. Give that a little mix up with the chia seeds. Same with that one. Now to make the chocolates one even more chocolatey, I'm just gonna add a couple teaspoons of some high quality cocoa powder. So where's that up here? Cocoa powder is really, really good for like chocolate lovers because it's not really high in sugar or calories or anything. But if you're just a bit of a chocolate fiend, chuck it into oats, chia puddings, Greek yogurt, anything. And you've got a delicious chocolatey pudding. So you give that a mix up. Cool, and now I've got about 100 ml of milk. Again, you can pretty much use any type of milk that you like. And same for that one. Get your spoon in there, you're gonna have to give it a nice old mix up. Okay, so that's the base of your chia puddings ready. Now, these have to go in the fridge for at least a few hours. It's best to leave them overnight because basically the chia seeds kind of absorb and soak up all the milk and the whey protein. So you need to put them in the fridge overnight. Luckily for you guys, I made some last night. So I've got a couple in here. So these are the ones that I made last night. You can see the chia seeds are kind of soaked up. It's kind of gone a bit kind of like jelly. So now we need to just decide what kind of toppings we want to put on top of it to kind of decorate it and add a little bit more flavor. I'm thinking some chopped strawberries, a couple raspberries. Just gonna do the same toppings for both of them. And then some flaked almonds. And then to just get a little bit fancy, we're gonna get a little bit fancy right now. And we're gonna grate some dark chocolate on top. That was a little bit messier than I anticipated. Got dark chocolate everywhere, but the puddings are looking amazing. So you've got a vanilla one right there, and you've got a chocolate orange one right there. And as I said, mix and match the flavors. Choose whatever flavor protein you want. It's gonna turn out amazing. Up next, we're going to be making some healthy oat and raisin cookies. Now these are not so high in protein, but they're just really good for energy. Have them like before a workout, just a little bit of sugar, some nice carbs, healthy carbs, keeps me going and gives me a lot of energy for my workout. So to a mixing bowl, we've got about 100 grams of flour. You could use wholemeal flour, but this is the only flour I had. And then 100 grams of oats, teaspoon of baking powder, about a teaspoon of cinnamon and a crack of salt. Okay, so that's the dry ingredient. So you just wanna mix that up and you can set that bowl aside for a second and then grab another bowl. So to this bowl, we're going to add about a tablespoon and a half of coconut oil. You want it melted at this point. And then you wanna add about 60 grams of honey there. And then one whole egg. <laughs> Trying to get that breaking the egg with one hand technique going and a little bit of vanilla. I'm gonna give that a nice whisk. Okay, and then we add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. And then you're gonna mix it all up. Okay, so the mixture's gonna come out looking something a little bit like that. It's pretty thick. 
50 grams of raisins. So we're just gonna add that in, fold that into the mixture. Okay, so we're gonna aim to make 10 cookies from this mixture. So about a tablespoon. And then you just wanna get it in your hands, form it into balls like that. And then place it down on your baking tray. And we just wanna get a spatula and you just gently flatten the cookie down like that. It is a little bit sticky, so if you slightly wet your hands and the spatula, it will make it a little bit less sticky. But that looks pretty good to me. And there you go. I kind of misestimated, I'm not sure if that's a word, but let's go with it. Um, I misestimated the size of the cookie dough balls, but I just went back and added more cookie dough to each one. So you got 10 kind of evenly sized cookies. And let's shove them in the oven. I realise I've done it again. I've done it twice in one video. I forgot to say to preheat your oven. So um, preheat your oven to 175 degrees Celsius, which is around 350F, I think. Um, so these are going to go in the oven for like 12 minutes. Wish them luck. Okay, so the cookies have been in there for 12 minutes. See how they come out. Looking pretty good to me. Nice and soft as you can see. Raisins, lovely. They're not burnt or anything. Lovely jubbly. So that pretty much brings us to the conclusion of today's video. Just to recap, we have the high protein parfait over there looking glorious. We've got these blondie cups over there. We've got the chia puddings, chocolate orange or vanilla or whatever flavor you fancy. And then we've got the oats and raisin cookies. Hope you found this video helpful. Um, of course, these are all quite low in calories, really healthy, good desserts, I would say, if you're like me, if you're cutting, trying to keep your calories low. Um, quite high in protein, the chia pudding's high in protein, the parfait's high in protein. Of course, you can't eat all of them at once. That is the tricky bit of cooking nice food. You don't want to eat it all at once, otherwise you are going to mess up your diet. But one a day should be good, or one or two cookies or blondie cups a day, and you're on the right track. Please comment below which one you would try first or which one you like the look of the most. I really enjoy reading your comments and seeing which one of my recipes is most popular. Um, any suggestions for future videos, comment below as well. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I think next week I'm going to be in Jamaica, so I'm not sure if it's going to be a cooking video or like a holiday vlog. It might be a holiday vlog, which um, I hope you guys don't mind. But, yes, thank you very much for watching. Have a good week, guys. Goodbye, and enjoy the recipes if you try them out.